So now that we've talked about the gingival discrepancies between eight and nine, it's important to next evaluate the incisal edge position. The fastest way to really evaluate variation and edge position is to focus on the embrasure between eight and nine. When we draw in the embrasure, you can see that the position of eight and nine are not uniform. Eight's edge is actually slightly apical to nine's. So how would I correct that? Ideally, I would start with either a wax up or an intraoral mock-up of where I'd want the new incisal position to be and then fabricate a putty matrix stent to work off of. In this case, I would extend the incisal edge position of eight slightly, not too much. I went a little overboard here in my drawing and it's a little square, um, but just enough so that you'll be more uniform with number nine. So now when we draw back in, eight is filled in and better mirrors nine in that embrasure, as well as mirrors nine's overall length. And that's how I would do it.